Jenny from Origami Tree and today we're going to be making a Lazy Susan. Now I wanted to make a Lazy Susan that wasn't completely round but rather rectangular so I'm going to do a little bit of a play on the rectangular tray and having that spin. And I'm also going to show you some stuff, I can't even carry it because it's actually quite heavy, that I got from papermart.com. So for those of you who don't know what papermart.com is, it's just like a website with a whole bunch of stuff that's really inexpensive and you can buy things wholesale, you can buy things in smaller quantities, and I shop there quite a bit. So I am going to show you what I got and these are some of the items that I'll be using. I won't be using everything that I bought, but most of it. <laughs> Um, so the first couple of things that I got are some party supplies because I wanted to, you know, set up the table So I got some plates. These were really inexpensive. By the way, if you want to know what I got exactly You can check the video description. I'll have a link to some select items So I got some plates from celebrations and I got them in aqua color and also in white I'm going with the vintage sort of like uh, aqua and white theme here So I got some cups to go with it as well and then I got some utensils so two packets uh, these have forks and spoons and knives and they have uh, 18 of them inside so I got them in aqua and white and then some napkins as well this is in Bermuda blue is what they call it and then I have a white one and now I have some paper straws these are biodegradable and the ink and paper is safe to drink so I thought this was kind of cool and it has a nice chevron pattern to it next I have a roll of of white fabric which is all natural Dad, I don't know that that was my Alexa okay <laughs> but anyway I have um, a roll of natural fabric and I thought this was really nice and outdoorsy looking so it looks like this and then I'm really excited about this one. These are floral ribbons. So if you see, it's quite beautiful. It has an aqua color with the white polka dots, which I thought was perfect. And then magenta flowers and a beautiful lace trimming. So I really like this. It reminds me of the outfits, or rather the ribbons that you would use with outfits back in the 1960s or 70s. So I like that. And then I have this. I need to put the big box down so I can show you what is in here these are wooden trays it comes in a set of three um, I got the set of three because well first of all it came in a set of three um, but then also I wasn't quite sure how large I wanted it to be so there is a small one a medium-sized one and a larger one and is natural wood so I think I'm going to be painting over them I'm not sure yet but got them so Paper Mart also sells mason jars and jelly jars, so I got a whole bunch of these. These are the 12 ounce ones, and I figured um, if there's a jelly jar that I don't use, I'll just use it as like a glass or something, but ooh, look at that. It kind of reminds me of those salt shakers, or rather sugar shakers that you find in um, some old diners, so there we go. Very pretty. I'm going to use these to store the utensils and also, you know, the straws and things like that. And then I went to another craft store to grab some more things. Um, I got a bag of marbles. These are like smaller than normal size marbles, but you can use normal size marbles too. And they're just glass and clear and pretty. You can find them in the floral section. So I got a bag of those. You're gonna need that for the Lazy Susan. I have a brush and a sanding block because I think I wanna make a more distressed look. So you use a sanding block or sandpaper to uh, rub off some layer of paint to make it look like distress and then I went ahead and got two saucers it's also in the floral section and I thought these would be perfect for the lazy Susan so I got these I have some soy sauce jars that I'm gonna be using to store paint in they're kind of little so I don't really know if I'm gonna use them but I got a whole bunch of them so I can put my paint in and also um, like an old quart just in case this is too small I don't know what I'm doing like I don't really paint but I'm gonna try my best to paint well um, and then of course I got a whole bunch of paint so these paints are by craft smart I have them in two colors they're a chalk surface so burnt orange to kind of go with 
you know, the clay pot. And then I got a native turquoise, which is also by Craftsmart. And this is just going to go with the uh, Bermuda blue turquoise teal slash aqua theme that I have going on. And because I don't really paint, I got, you know, a lot of them because I'm not sure how much I'm going to be needing. So I got like I think six, so three in each color. And uh, yeah, so those are all the supplies that I got at my local craft store and also from papermart.com. Again, if you wanna see what I got, you can look in the video description. I'm gonna have a link to most of the items, not all of them because that's just like way too much, but most of the items. And without further ado, let's jump right into the tutorial. To make a Lazy Susan, I first took my rectangular tray and I covered it with a thin layer of burnt orange paint. So this is multi-surface premium chalky acrylic paint by Craftsmart. And I chose this color because I wanted it to match the color of the saucers that I'm going to put the tray on top of. And, and then I'm going to put another layer of paint and then when you distress it, it will kind of look like it was originally that color. So for this first layer, you want to make sure you get every nook and cranny. After the first layer of paint is completely dry, you're going to start on your second layer. For the second layer, I am using Native Turquoise uh, by Craftsmart. And for this one, you can be a little bit more sloppy. So for the first layer, you wanted to get every nook and cranny. But for the second layer, you kind of just want to smooth it out. It's okay if you have, you know, a little splotch here or there because at the end, you're going to try to make it look distressed. So that's kind of the look you're going for. So while I waited for the paint to dry, I decided to focus on the mason jars. So I'm gonna be using three mason jars, but you can use more or less depending on your personal preference. I just thought that three mason jars fit very well on this particular size tray, so that's why I'm using three. But anyway, you're gonna take off the lids and then you're going to wrap a natural ribbon around each one of these jars. And you can just kind of estimate or gauge how long you want them and trim them to size and then put it on using the glue gun and then after that you're going to put a layer of floral ribbon and tie a bow right at the center to make it super duper pretty. So once your three mason jars are completely done and it's looking all beautiful and lovely, you are going to take your tray and then use your sanding block to sand off some of the exposed areas of the uh, native turquoise paint. So the idea here again is to expose the uh, burnt orange underneath to give the illusion of a distressed old look and essentially you're going to sand off mostly the top parts of the tray so you want to focus on the parts that are used and touched most uh, frequently so like the handle the top parts of the tray the vertices the corners and kind of almost randomly as well and you just really want to make sure that it looks like it was used And now to create the Lazy Susan portion of this project, you want to take your tray and put it face down and then take one of your clay pots and you're going to take the glue dots and basically I'm just surrounding the circumference of the clay pot to make sure there's some type of adhesive. You can use a glue gun if you wish, but I just wanted to use glue dots because I felt like it. But anyway, now I have it all surrounded, I'm going to flip it over and place it right at the center of the tray. Then take your second clay saucer and put some marbles at the very top. You want to have a layer of marbles that is almost filling up the entire pot but not quite. Then flip the tray around and lay that on top and now you can put all of your utensils and mason jars on. So again, I'm using one mason jar for spoons, another one for forks and knives, and then the one in the back I'll be using for straws. And then in between, I'm just going to slip some plates and napkins in it. Give it a little spin and you are done.
thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoy that. If you like that, be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell right next to the subscribe button to be alerted when new videos come out. I post new crafty fun videos all year round. I have over 350 of them right now. So there's really something for everyone. Go check it out. And then also check the video description for some of the items that I got from papermart.com. And I'll see you soon. Bye.